Hi, this is George Alger with the Two Green Energy Video Report, speaking with Craig Shields, who is the author of Renewable Energy, Facts and Fantasies, a number one best-selling energy book on Amazon. Hello, Mr. Craig. Hey, George. All right, so today we're talking about a business opportunity that has to do with wind farms and compressed air. Exactly. I'm not used to saying all that stuff in one <laughs> sentence, so first of all, describe this technology. Well, wind, as you're aware, is probably the predominant uh, in terms of cost effectiveness, the predominant new, uh, renewable technology uh, on Earth. So it's essentially at parity with coal. We're very close to it. So um, everybody, there's a heck of a lot. There are many, many gigawatts of wind installed. The problem is that it does, the wind doesn't blow all the time, just like the sun doesn't shine all the time. And worse, the wind tends to blow harder at night when we're using least of it. So thus giving rise to the need for energy storage. So the question is you, you have gigawatt hours of wind energy. How do you store this stuff cost effectively? And there are not so many good uh, opportunities. There are not so many good answers to that question. One of the, uh, as a matter of, uh, just to make you aware of this thing, if you tried to do this all in batteries, it would cost a fortune. So there are different uh, ideas, there are different concepts associated with how are you going to store this stuff cost effectively. You can pump water uphill and then extract the energy out of it the next day. Or you can compress air into a cavern, which of course takes energy to do, and then you get the energy back when you decompress it. Okay, okay. So let's say in comparison to something like hydro, where you would pump water up during the night and then take advantage of the energy in the day when it's flowing down, I mean, um, you, would you say that compressed air is more efficient than that or less efficient? Well, if, in terms of efficiency, it kind of depends. This is a little tricky to do in terms of efficiency because each cavern is different, and if you, if you compress and decompress them at a rate that isn't appropriate to that cavern, you take a huge hit in terms of efficiency. There are only two implementations of compressed air at the utility scale on Earth today.